Yeah, how you doing, everybody? Welcome back. Our last guest is a motivational speaker. The brother's out there all over the place, all around the world. He's an educator, too, and a, pl a multi-platinum bad boy, hitman record producer and CEO of Platinum Boy Music Incorporated. Please welcome to the show. Here he is. Amadeus is in the house. My brother, the legend. Nice, nice, the legend. <laughs> nice to see you. Man. Good to see you, Doc. How you feeling today? Good, good, good. good. You've been through a lot of stuff. I mean, we've all been going through a whole lot. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, but we still got to keep on going because the people that we left behind want us to keep it moving. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And they're, they're, they're working from another platform, Absolutely. so to speak. I love how you said that. You know what we're talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, how sir. do you continue to do the things that you're doing knowing that you have someone in your family pass away? Yes. Uh, so so today, of us have, having to go through stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, July 17th uh, is my mom's birthday. Yeah. Uh, so happy birthday, mama. Mom. We love you. 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 Dr. Bobby, she knows you very well. She's like, you're going to see Dr. Bobby. Yeah. She knows you very well. Uh, We're going to sing to her. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy, Happy birthday to you and many more. We might be a singing group. <laughs> we might be singing. We're, something we're might harmonizing just, a little something bit. Something just happened this day. It just happened here. You know? <laughs> so happy birthday, mama. Uh, but it's bittersweet. We um, just want to be the first to sing happy birthday yes, to you. Yes, yes, Um, But on the same day, a year ago, uh, July 17th, you know, our dad uh, passed away, um, Sorry, yeah. you know, so it's, you know, it's kind of like, man, okay, we, we're going to celebrate mama, yeah. you know, but at the same time, we have to be strong enough to celebrate dad as well. Yeah. It's a celebration. Yeah. You know, we miss him. Uh, dad will be here. there. Absolutely. Dad will be there. Absolutely. Yeah. And thank you for that moment, you know, and thank you for the support and the love. Always. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Bob. So how do you continue to doing the things that you're doing? Because uh, the last time we spoke, you were, I mean, you were always into mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Um, back to performing again. You know, we spoke uh, during the pandemic uh, via Zoom, so it's great. I'm grateful yeah. to be back in the studio oh, with man. you. Uh, so back to you performing. Can, you can smell people. You can smell yeah. the cologne yeah. and smell, perfume. You see, maybe. Yeah, you I got the Versace the on today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, back on the road. Uh, still uh, at Dre's nightclub in Las Vegas on the weekends. Um, shout yeah. out to Dre's. Uh, Trey Song still performing. Yeah, with yeah. Trey, we have a show on the 29th in St. Louis. Um, the, the story of Amadeus and the beat goes on. Book is. Is still out doing very well, so still visiting the schools, high schools, speaking to the kids, encouraging them to chase their dreams and, and live their dreams like how I'm doing. Teaching at a summer camp right now. Yeah, uh, shout yeah. out to Dwight uh, for having me. You know the babies too, the babies. Yeah, you know, only yeah, have the older yeah. students, the high the school, innocent babies, the babies, the four to five and the six to seven who's just introducing them to music and instruments and instrumentation. And got to give them something to do. Oh, they love it. You got to give them it. something to do. Absolutely. So yeah. just keeping busy. Um. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, before it was just Amadeus, and now, you know, I've, I've earned my honorary doctorate in music and hey, education. Hey, so, the doc. You know, we docs, man. We yeah, docs, man. We docs. I'm, we docs. We docking it. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to take that in. You know, you, you're used to it. And, you know, people say, hey, hey, Dr. Amadeus. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, so it it's sounds a good. It got thing. a nice flow to nice it. Nice ring, ring to it, yeah. right? Yeah. Dr. Right. Amadeus. And I can sit next to Dr. Lee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we weren't always there. But now, right. started from the bottom, now yeah, we're, we're here. Good. Started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. <laughs> See, he's better with lyrics than me. See, I'm, I, I was about to do the beat on the table, but Dr. Bob got the, he got the lyrics, man. <laughs> I you, you, lyrics. You got the flow. Yes, Tell sir. us about the, your success stories, man, where you started and how you're doing it now. Big Bronx Energy. Big Bronx Energy, mm -hmm. 169 Washington Avenue to be exact, the nine. Um, fell in love with music, you know, fourth grade, picked up the drumsticks for the first time. Found my love and passion. You know, I yeah. always loved music, always was surrounded by music. We had to clean up on Saturdays. So, you know, the jams is rocking. Uh, and I didn't know that, you know, I would fall in love with hip hop and want to become a music producer. But it happened. Really yeah. young age, 13, 14, 15 years old. You're part of Hip Hop's 50. Yeah. 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 You, you in know? there? I'm in there. I'm in there. You know, a lot of legends in there. A lot of legends. A lot there. of so, legends in there. You know, to even be mentioned yeah. amongst those, you know, it's a blessing. Yeah, that's Look at like, that. That's in Vegas, man. Yeah, yeah we did a uh, shout out to Rick Ross. We did um a Rick Ross. With Ross in Atlanta uh, alongside an all black orchestra. He's the one with the two million dollar watch. Man. <laughs> Rick Won't Ross. Be like him, man. He's got his own jet and and and, and flies to Vegas on his yeah, own yeah. jet. And you know, his his house is the size of probably two White Houses. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Uh, but it's great to see, man. Especially as but a he's black down man. to earth. How oh, how one is of the he? Most humble dudes. How, how is he? I mean, you know, just to be around. Amazing. And how does that make you feel? Amazing. Yeah. You know, um, to see someone of that level. I'm a fan of his music first. 
Yeah. We performed that Dre's uh, in Vegas. Uh, and he, you know, after the set, you know, he was like, hey, man, I got something special coming up. You know, I, I, I need you for, you know, people yeah. say that. Artists yeah, yeah, say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of like, all right, cool. You know, I didn't really get too excited about it. About two weeks later, I get a phone call from the conductor, Jason, on, and he's like, hey, I got your number from Rick Ross. And we're doing this show in Atlanta, one time only, all black orchestra. And he said, his exact words is, got to have Amadeus on drums. And yeah, I said, yeah. he said that. And he said, yes. So he said, so That's can we have Amadeus on drums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it was an amazing performance, you know. And and what's so dope about that, Dr. Lee, is that I'm not classically trained, so I don't I don't know how to read music. So but you can all, flow. Yeah, it's all a feeling. Yeah. So to be alongside an orchestra and a symphony who's all reading music, and I'm there just off of the vibe and just because I know his music and I'm a fan. Uh, it was just, it was in awe. I was in awe of them and they was in awe of me. Like, so how's he doing dude? that? Wait a minute. He ain't reading. He's just going. Because once, He's you know, flowing. once the song stops, they're like, and there's no shot to them. And there's no disrespect, but they stop. If Rick Ross wants to keep going, I'm yeah. like, let's keep this thing let's going. Let's keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So keep it going. Such a to blessing. the break of dawn. Absolutely. Ah, tell us about that. <laughs> The beat goes on and on and on yes, until sir. the break of yes, dawn. Sir. The story of Amadeus and the beat goes on. Got that done during the pandemic. Uh-huh. Always wanted to have a book uh, to be able to inspire kids. Um, you know, but we move around so much. You know, you can relate to that. We move around so much. I just never had the time. Yeah. So when we were forced to take a seat due to the pandemic, it was the perfect time to get that done. And shout out to the co-authors, Lynn Hobson, Trina Stackhouse. Couldn't have done it without those two queens. Yeah. Um, and I'm very proud of it. Very proud of it. It's doing very well all over you know, New York, all over yeah. the schools. Um, the kids are receiving it well. And I wanted to leave them something tangible, you know, because sometimes, and you know, when you go speak to students, sometimes it goes in one ear and out the other. When they leave that building, they might not remember everything you say. Yeah. Uh, but so for me to leave them that book, they can always refer back to something, you know, yeah. that they connect and with. And that helps with the follow-up because it always has to be a follow-up. Because you're right. Sometimes they leave the building and that's it. But mm-hmm. you do give them something to think about. Mm-hmm. You leave an indelible mark on yes, their sir. minds. Yes, sir. So that when you do come back, oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a day is yeah, in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a blessing. Yeah, that's a good thing. And people will come up to you years from now mm-hmm. saying, yeah, I remember you came to my school. That's what it's all about. I feel right it now. all the time. That's what it's all about. You know, people will say, what do you want people to remember you from? The music? You know, the music is cool, but I felt like it was kind of the stepping stone mm-hmm. to be where I'm at today to just reach people, to just inspire people. Yeah. Like a new song and idea comes out every second, every day, and it can fit yeah. you. What advice would you give to up and coming artists? A lot mm-hmm. of people, well, if we were looking up to people to guide us in the right direction yes, when sir. we were coming up. What advice would you give to someone right about now? Be yourself. And I think that's something that a lot of artists are not doing these days, right? They're, mm-hmm. They want to win. They want to be successful. They want to be rich. They want to be famous, yeah. right? So they're, it's a lot of copying going on. There's a lot of artists that's wanting to be like other artists because they're winning or because they see the level of success that they have, right? Yeah. But for me, is I'm like, just be authentic. Be authentic to who you are. That people appreciate you when you're real and honest and transparent mm-hmm. and telling them the truth. Yeah. You know, so be you. Tell your truth. Tell your story through your lens right, right. so that people can appreciate that, yeah. you know? And I think that's that's very important advice. Um, we're all unique in our own way. Yeah. You know, and I told my daughter this last night. I said, look at your hands. And she's looking at the hand. What do you, what, what do you mean? I said, look close. I said, you see these lines on your fingers? And she's like, yeah. I said, those are your fingerprints. You're the only person in the world who has those fingerprints. That has that fingerprint. Yeah. Somebody can have your name. Somebody can have the same length hair, dress like you, same sneakers, but no one is you. And There's that's no your superpower. Like you. yeah. No one is you. So once you tap into that and appreciate who you are, who you are and what you are and, and how God specifically molded and shaped you and brought you into this world, like... Mm-hmm. That's your superpower. So yeah. if you can tap into that, you're unstoppable. Yeah, it's not fried. It's shake and bake. Yeah. Not hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, but wait a minute. You're absolutely right. In our line of business, you know, of course, we're entertaining people mm-hmm. all over the place. But mm-hmm. um, it's okay to copy somebody. Mm-hmm. But that's what comes out. Your mm-hmm. own unique yes, sir. Uh, ability to do what you do. Absolutely. Because there's nobody like you. And, it's, and again, it's, you like have your you own said, personality. It's cool to be influenced by. Yeah. Because well, I'm influenced by you. Yeah. Right. But we already have a Dr. Bob Lee. Yeah. So I can't beat Dr. Bob Lee. You know, right. I can grab what motivates me and what inspires me about you and, and and make it my own. Right. Right. So when I walk into the building, they'll go, that's Dr. Amadeus. 
Yeah. You know and that's what people are looking for, yeah. you know, because it, speaking in this area where you have to fit the sound of the station, mm -hmm. you can't come in there and sound like a rock and roll DJ trying to get a job on WBLS. Yes, sir. So you got to sound like somebody and do, do it the way they're mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to copy, copy right. them, but your own personality. Yes, sir. And individuality yes, is going to come out. Absolutely. And that's what they're going to see. Absolutely. So, oh, wow. They sound just like us. I, we, here, sign this. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's next for you? Man, I think what's most important right now, I learned this during the pandemic, is just to make sure, especially as men, black men, black kings, is that you know we're right, we're in the right space, that we're at peace, right? That our, that our mental mm -hmm. is good. We move so much, we want, we do so much, we have all of these goals and all these different things. Yeah. But if you if you're not aligned, if you're not healthy, if you're not in the right space mentally, you know you can't achieve all of those different things, mm -hmm. right? So I think from my focus is make sure you're happy, make sure you're at peace, right? Because that's when you can be your best. That's when you can give the world your best because you're at Beautiful. your best, right? So I think that's. To me, the focus and then everything just kind of falls into place. More music, more songs, yeah. more performances, more being a blessing to the kids in schools. That always, but just make sure that you're good first. You know, it's so a that's beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Website, yeah. social media. Absolutely. Where can we go? Yeah, so go get the copy of the book, Story of Amadeus and the Beat Goes On, available now. I'm still signing all copies. So uh -huh. uh, uh, www.iamkingamadeus.com is the website. Um, my social media, I'm on Instagram, Amadeus PBM. Amadeus PBM. And again, the website is www.iamkingamadeus.com uh, for all info information in regards to me, what I'm doing, what, what's up and coming. You know, log in, log in. Hey, man. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for you having me. You're always, always welcome to come back. Appreciate it. Like you, I man. said before, this is your house. Yes, sir. All Big right. Home. home. Bronx Energy. There you go. <laughs> BX. Boop, boop, boop. Big BX. Amadeus, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Producer, songwriter. He does everything. <laughs> He's got it going on. Yes, he can sir. be a jack of all trades and a master of everything. Well, um, I, I interviewed somebody and they said, yeah, they call me a jack of all trades and a mass of none, but it's all business to me. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. I want to thank our guests for joining us and you, our viewers, for tuning in and checking it all out. Thank you for letting me share in this space and time with you. You can keep following BronxNet TV for continued coverage. And uh, you can check out the, our host, Kevin Arlene, Darren Jaime, and Rena Valentine for all new episodes of Open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. For all of us here at Bronx, that have a great and enjoyable day. Thank you guys on the floor for doing all. Thank you guys in the uh, the studio up there. Look, look, they're waving a hand through the window, the glass window. Thank you guys in the Wizard of Oz room, I will call it. Always remember this, what you are is God's gift to you. What you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice. Let your choice control the choose. I'll see you over 107.5 WBLS. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. I love you all. Peace. <laughs>